What about the resources? Like, you can't produce more than you have, so you want to, or like, if there's going to be a change in resources. Alright, okay, so, let's see if we can quantify that. So the known price factors. These are variables that affect supply, and they're not the price of the good in question, so they're shifting the curve. So you said resources. What are the resource categories? Land, capital, labor, and the entrepreneur. So we all agree you need these to make stuff, right? They're the inputs into the production process. Now, is it the quantity of these things that affects your decision to make, produce, and sell? I think I was thinking more like what it takes to actually produce, like the physical like, materials. So I agree with you. You need these things. They're inputs into the production process. But what is it about them that affects the supply? So hold on a minute. Be careful here. Variables that affect your decision to make, produce, and sell a good are not the same variables that will affect your decision to buy a good. Don't cross these. You are the seller of the good. Now I agree the resources affect our decision to make, produce, and sell a good. But I'm looking for something very specific about these resources. Price. Exactly. Is it the price of these resources? Aren't these your cost of production? Yeah. So if you're going to use labor, don't you have to pay a wage? Yeah. Isn't this what affects your decision to make, produce, and sell the good? So I agree if the resources, but specifically it's the resource prices. And we know what these are. If you use labor, what do you have to pay? Land. The capital. Interest. Profit. So it's the resource prices that affects the supply decision. If you look at these, you can identify these from a supply perspective. These are your cost of production. Yeah? Now how does this work? For example, I gotta pay more wages. Let's say the cost of production. The COP, not the cost, the this. <laughs> the cost of production goes up. What should happen to supply? It goes where? Down. What's that? It goes to rise and west. <laughs> <laughs> Cost of production goes up. What happens to supply? It decreases, so it goes where? To the left, to the left. Yeah? So, cost of production goes up to the left. You would shift it to the left. I do not, I want you to get into the habit of saying up, I mean right and left. Don't get into the habit of saying up and down. It's going to confuse you. Right is an increase, left is a decrease. And it works both ways for demand and supply. So get into that habit. Right is an increase, left is a decrease. Cost of production goes down. Which way are we shifting it? Right. right. And so you analyze these. Now Jason was bringing up a point earlier. You were telling me something about fuel. What were you saying? Well, what I was getting at was if a new technology is developed, it's less expensive to extract the fuel, then that means that the supply is going to go up. Very good. Another variable that affects supply, as Jason is pointing out, is technology. He gave a very good example. So another variable, technology. And this is pretty straightforward. He gave it an example. Technology improves. <clears throat> what do I do? You have an improvement in a technology associated with a production process. Shift to the right. Whatever this looks like, what a reversal of technology, then what? Yeah? 